Referee Patrick Latapi has given the table free for Jose Maria Mas, Spanish participant in this tournament. Here we have a look at our referee. Thin contact with the white normally doesn't help because then the cue ball goes down to the short cushion. He has only only one shot here. I think it's it's the three cushion off the white. Short, long, short. Not so easy one. But the angle is pretty okay. He doesn't need extreme, extremely thin hit, but he hit too much ball. Fast, huh? Played slow speed for defense. This is a hard nut to crack for Jérôme Barbeillon, who is dominating the match today, has won four of the previous six sets. The other two has, have gone to Mass. Barbeillon queuing well today. That one was not very bad. He gets a kiss. Not at all bad was his shot. Confident, confidently queuing today. Nelin, not at all. He's way down on average and not playing well. That is a good shot, though. Lots of spin. A little bit like me. Similarity, similarities between my game and his game. We're using excessive amounts of English many times and extra speed. And both of us does not have the most beautiful stroke, I think. But beyond hitting the balls really well. Six or seven cushions now. If he can escape all possible kisses. Lots of extra speed here. That's a great wow. shot. That's a trademark Dion Nelin shot. Bending the angles with extra speed here, especially from third to fourth, fourth cushion. Great shot, and what a result. Not only did he make the point, he gave himself just wonderful position. Cut. <laughs> he almost missed it, though. He's <coughs> far away from his best game. Desperately needs to find his game again. Find his good style. This is a good shot. Same. White ball is decent. Very far away to use as first object ball here, but probably he will go for it. He will take a good think. Four seconds, five. Ah, he takes a look. He doesn't like the white ball, so he takes a look at orange, but not much to do. He has to go white ball first. That's a good hit. <coughs> Previous set, he started with a five, I, if I remember correctly. And many innings later, he's, he was still on five or six. This time starting with a six, and here is a drawback four cushion. Too much draw, he feels it immediately. Far away. Difficult shot. 
but a Dionelin in good shape is never that far away on on a shot like this. So he is still struggling, although he got a nice six in here. Three cushion now from the Spaniard. Yellow ball should go to the short cushion and then between white and cushion. No, it doesn't. Another one struggling. So the Frenchman is the player of today, but can he survive this position? I think the position is pretty okay, but can he reach it? Can he get there? Uh, it looks pretty okay, so now it's just about avoiding the kiss. Takes the yellow ball out of the long cushion. Well done. Nice ah. shot. That was not so obvious that you can hit that yellow so thin that it comes out this way. Because it was so close to the long cushion. This one really looks possible here. Orange and long, short, long. No, he goes short, long, long. Wow. That needs such a perfect touch. Yeah. V very nice shot from Barbillon. I'm impressed by this. He gets uh, that wonderful thin hit on yellow so that the next shot is easy as well. Or as well, <laughs> the next shot is easy. The other one was not. Just make sure you control the yellow here. Send it away twice. Yeah, and now everything is fine. Needs to escape yellow, he does. Cut. Unbelievable, he went for this shot, and what a shot it is. Super close. That looked very nice until here, until here as well, and in the end it seemed like it just didn't want to go. So Nelin still leading with his run of six from the first inning. Full spin here, probably. Shot, good shot from Nelin and balls in good shape. I think should be a three cushion available here. Might he might be able he might have to go thin on the white. That is normally not a problem for him. So good. Starting to find this game a little bit, Nelin. Little by little, he really would want to take these two sets and re-establish a little bit of his lead.
Very difficult shot, this one, for most players in the world. There are some exceptions, but okay, let's not talk about other players. I'm surprised that Dion didn't even look at a shot of the orange there, because that would have been a safety shot at the same time. Three cushions now directly. A fraction too short. Always a mystery here what the yellow does. No, he doesn't have that long arms. I think he can still play a shot here off the white, so... Long, short, long, and then make it short with some draw. That's a good shot. Finally, finally getting control of the shortness of the table. Great shot by Nelin, and here is set point. He goes for the complicated hit on the white. He, he can play orange too. I'm a little bit surprised that he goes for these difficult hits. But a very nice shot. And his first set of today. He really needed that one. Last set of today, set number 16. And there is some famous players here on this group G, which will start in a couple of days. First, we have to finish this group. This looks like a nice break shot from Barbillon. Hitting on the long side, that's okay. Needs to find the best way here. I'm not sure which is the best way. Interesting to see where he sends orange. Okay. Orange was taken oh, yeah. care of, but he did not control the cubo. Mas now and a little bit unhappy to see his cue ball going to the cushion because he wants to play yellow here, three cushions with extra speed. But yeah, that, that doesn't work so well with that cue ball position. So cue ball will jump up and hit on top of yellow. And yeah, that complicates the matter. You can see cue ball jumping here probably. <coughs> Or hear it even. Uh. Great shot though. Nice control. Maybe on a replay we can see how the cue ball jumps. Actually, it almost landed before it hit the ball, so that was okay. Those are the things that we don't really know when we play. We cannot, <laughs> we don't get the replay. Too much ball here. Mass. 
struggling with awful cue ball positions here is Jose Maria Mas. Same shot with the cue ball in far away from the cushion would have been easy. Bank shot here with a bad angle. He plays it softly, so now even half hit might be a point. Yes, it goes a little bit through orange. Nice. Very difficult bank shot here. Needed a good hit on the orange, not any hit. Has to go for reverse English shot here. Short, long, and back to short. Easily put too much. You can easily put too much on this one. Yeah, easily too much. Very difficult to slow down and to make a little curve. Oops, wrong cushion, orange, just oh caught yeah, yeah. that short cushion before long cushion. Very unlucky, would have been one meter away of that, away from that kiss had he touched the other cushion first. Is he looking at a five cushion bank shot? Ooh, lucky there, he gets two hits on orange. With only one hit, he would never have made the point. Now he gets two hits. Good for him, though. Needs a little flow in his game here. Desperately needs to win this last set, this final set today. But now, now he has a good cue ball position in the middle of the table, but he doesn't have a shot, so unlucky again. Power shot here. Oh, that is very well played. Yep. Nice point. Not in perfect shape, but this is a quality shot. Here, these are the shots where you show your quality, your your strength. There's nothing sure about making this point. No help, no nothing. You have to do everything yourself. Nice. Yeah, he's not lucky here. Gets a little nudge between orange and white, and the yellow goes to the wrong position. This is the quiz for the viewers. What is the best shot in this position? Don't send in emails, because he will play now, so <laughs> you are too late anyway. Long, long, short directly, or three times across. I don't know which is the best. Pretty good. Nelin just woke up after six pretty lousy sets. He finally took set number seven today. Here he plays too short again. Couldn't hit much more of orange than it would have kissed the white, so had 
bit of a dilemma there. Thin hit, very difficult point this. Gets a perfect hit. No, he gets a good look of almost all of that yellow ball here. Yeah, he can see the whole ball. That's good. Three cushion here with maximum spin. Yep. Good shot. And yellow creeping out of the corner. This is nice. <coughs> this is a good way of putting yellow to the center. Just letting it go five cushions with a backup and it will stop somewhere in the center. Looks like he will go for a bank shot here, though. He doesn't like the constellation of the other two balls. So, easy hit here on orange. Can hit almost anywhere on that side. You only have to get there. He doesn't. And he he's probably going to leave a nice position for Jose Maria Mas. does get his cue ball a little bit into the cushion, but this is still nice for Jose Maria. Normally you do want to play this shot softly, very slow, so that cue ball comes pretty straight out of the third cushion, which makes the white ball a little bit bigger, a little bit easier to hit. Important here that the yellow was not frozen to the cushion. That would have left him with a horrible position. Slowly taking this set into his control. This is a good shot again. Good. And here he's taking a look at the bank shot. A very nice kind of bank shot here, where you can also hit almost anywhere on, on that side of the yellow. But it does require perfect knowledge about this table and how that corner works. Cue ball close into the corner. There are great differences between all tables there. So he goes for <coughs> this one with reverse. Yellow, is it out of the way? Almost, but not quite. So that makes you think, should, should he have played the bank shot anyway? Yeah, probably. It was a pretty pretty good bank shot, but if you yeah, if you don't feel that you know exactly what's happening in that corner. Yeah. Difficult difficult choice. Nelin here with another difficult choice. He even takes more than twenty seconds for this shot. Oh. That didn't help. Strong performance from uh, Jérôme Barbillon today. He, has he and José María Mas was so far away after the first day, but he has kept his game together and fought back bravely. This is another good shot from a difficult cue ball position. 
perfect stroking there in, in uncomfortable position. This is looking nice too. I think he can just play to the long cushion here from yellow. Long, short, long. A regular three cushion. No, he's going the other side. No, he doesn't, of course. No. Sometimes I see ghosts. Not the best position for yellow to stop at. That's a fantastic shot. I was wondering what is he playing? He actually played this shot, which is the best shot in the in the position, but I didn't see it immediately. Impressive style. He doesn't look really happy there. He has to play this cushion first shot, but I don't think I don't have any idea where the yellow where the yellow goes. Uh, he stops it down there, and he's just a little bit too long. That was a really good good hit, full hit on the yellow. Of course, it's really difficult to control the cue ball there. He almost made it. Somebody told him a joke, probably Nelin. Him too, with a smirk on his face. Looking for inside hit on the yellow. This looks very good. Now it goes to the cushion, but might not be so important. I think he can still escape. Difficult to see from this high camera. Mm. Now here it looks it looks bad. Maybe he can go for the double hit on the orange. Which is pretty okay. Only you really don't know where the yellow goes then. So maybe he goes for only he went for one hit. Might have, might have had a second little touch. Difficult to see. <coughs> Nelin makes a mess of this four cushion. He will not be happy about that. That was a good position to to make some points in this set. He only has one. Short, long, short. So easy to give too much English on those. And he does again. Long short, maximum stretching here. This 
looking awfully short, this one. It didn't hit the object ball well. Jerome cannot play off the yellow here because he then has to use his right hand and stretching over the table. That's a pretty bad combination. So probably he will go two cushion first on orange. A little bit of left side English. And just float it in there. I don't think he needs a lot of speed here, just a little push. Uh. Very late, but he did get that short cushion. Great shot. Slowly, slowly, slowly it comes to the short cushion. Nice. And towards the end, he gets the chance to show that he can play Marseille shots. We're looking pretty good. Looking very good. Yeah. Super shot, speed control, oh everything oh. nice. So that's one answer to one of the things that we didn't know. We did not know if if Jerome was strong at Massé shots. We know now. Playing for two. This one is a little bit too long. Little risky play there. He went for he went for everything there. If he makes that one slowly, the next one is going to be easy. Now instead, Mass with three balls in the middle. Should this be enough for three points? Many times it is. This one slowly. Ah, he doesn't play really slow. White ball not exactly in the corner. And his cue ball a little bit too fast. Good point, but he missed out a little bit on the position play. Playing for two here. Not much to think about, I think, here. Nothing to play off the yellow, so has to go for this three cushion shot. He doesn't like it. I don't like it either. You're automatically sending white towards yellow, so it's going to be a complicated hit. So, and all this gives Dionelina a chance. He has only one point, but you know, he's very explosive. Suddenly, things can just start happening in very short time. This is not a shot where you can play position. Uh. The, yellow, the red, the red, no, there is no red ball. The orange always goes too far, so... He's left with a three cushion of the white, short, long, short. Beautiful shot. Uh, seldom could show his great class today, but this was one moment. Gets a good chance here to finish the set. He needs seven more. 
place this one directly on three cushions. Didn't feel it was possible to play five cushions. This one requires a good hit. He wants to play five cushions here, so very thin. Deep into the corner. Was it deep enough? Yeah. Yes, nice. Things happening very fast now. Four points in in one minute. And here is one more. Thank. Completely lost position though. Did not control the white ball. Yeah, he's going to, he's trying four cushions here, thin on the white. This is absolutely not easy. Five points, maybe enough to make the other two players a little bit worried. Might be able to create some mistakes from Barbeillon, first of all, and then Mas. That is a very nice shot from Barbillon. He has been playing great today. Can he finish now? To be just one set behind the Onelin going into the final day. Such a good shot, this one. And here he is with set point in set number 16. Did he give it enough? No, he misses it. And what is worse, he has given Jose Maria Mas a great position here, I think. Yeah, maybe he hasn't. Oh, when I look at this in from this angle, seems like he just can't play the three cushion off the yellow. That is tough luck. Has to go for cushion first on white. Which might be not that bad. Seems to have a good angle for it. He hit it much too thin though. And here is Dion. It happened. He made five points and made the other two players a little worried. And here he gets a chance. Not such a very good one though. Seems like Dion gets nervous when he cannot find a way to play within the first two or three seconds. I know. He, I know. he actually has a shot on the, to the left of the white ball. Left side of white, full ball, spin shot, three cushion, he, he, can, he could play that. And this one he cannot reach. Follow through here. Has a kiss. Very difficult choice. But I feel he didn't find a good way. It's easy to say here from me sitting in a very comfortable sofa. Another set point for Jérôme Barbillon. He misses this one too. That must be very disappointing. The position of orange ball was fantastic there for this shot.
but he has done a good job of playing defense here. Up and down here, short, long, short. Left side of white. He gets the other cushion. And nice Dion one. has one more chance. One playing for three. He can see white, but he he goes orange, long, short, long. Yeah, that's a good shot. Very good shot. Speed shot here coming. What? Barely gets Seven. it and here he has a set point. And it is going to be a bank shot, I think, but it's not a good one. If he can find anything else to play, he will avoid this bank shot, but I don't think he can. Orange ball first and maybe one cushion after orange. Yes, he makes it nice. Beautiful finish here from Nelin. Takes the last set, goes into the lead by eight sets to five and three. And I thank you for watching and listening. Stick around, there will be interviews with the players from uh, Jeremy Picard, like always. And I will see you tomorrow again, same hours, for the continuation of this match. Bye bye. John, um, what a day. Um, uh, this day is not like the other, uh, like yesterday. Uh, what happens uh, today? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, f I don't feel the table so good today and many times not easy positions and, you know, it's everything. It's coming in on each other, you know, and but luckily in the end I, I get some sets and for that I'm very happy. So, yeah, it's shorter than yesterday. Uh, we saw that um, during six uh, sets you are not uh, able to to take uh, sets and uh, you react as a great champion because uh, you won the two last um, your five sets uh, lead from yesterday reduced to has been reduced to to three sets but it's okay for you car it's even okay I think so yes but I must so I say also that uh, Jerome is playing very good and yeah. He began with uh, 10 points in one inning, and f I mean, he, he, he filled the table and he played good, so uh, I mean, that's great for him. I mean, yes. to accept that, it's yes. just nice. Yes, the averages uh, are down, except for Jerome, who raised his level today. So it uh, promises a great battle tomorrow. It will be exciting. <laughs> yeah, it will be exciting for, for all the viewers. Thank you, John, and see you tomorrow. Okay, thank you.
Jose, uh, two sets uh, won uh, today. Um, it, it will be very difficult for qualification, but it, it's still possible. You have to win six or seven sets tomorrow. Yes, of course. Of course, it will be very difficult. It was very difficult today. I didn't find my rhythm. I couldn't. I didn't feel like yesterday, you know. And uh, of course, Jerome played really good today. And okay, it was a strange day, but I'm still there. I heard that you are a billiard installer or billiard fitter. Uh, how do you sing of this table? <laughs> what a question. <laughs> okay, the table is, is a little bit short than, than usual, but okay, the table is good enough to play good. You know, Jerome make 10 in the first inning today. Uh, Dion make yesterday. I make a run of eight to finish set yesterday also. Then we just adapt ourselves in, in the table and it's what we have, like always in all tournaments, it's the same. Yeah, Jerome plays uh, almost 150 today, so you're, you're right when you said that players must adapt to the, to the table, yeah. Yes, of course, there's no another way. The table will not come to you <laughs> to say the, the right way to play. Then, okay. Okay, we wish you a great night and uh, see you tomorrow, Jose. Thank you very much. Uh, Jérôme, tu es le grand vainqueur du jour avec uh, quatre sets remportés. Um, Est-ce que malgré tout, tu as quelques regrets sur cette journée <rire> uh, Ouais, ouais. Ben ouais, j'ai donné le meilleur aujourd'hui. Uh, j'ai l'impression d'avoir fait un petit marathon. Et puis, uh, voilà, j'ai essayé petit à petit de, de recoller, de, de suivre une, ma stratégie. Et puis uh, Bon, euh, ça, ça a bien payé. Malheureusement, les dernières secondes ont été fatales et euh, j'ai raté deux points très, très faciles. Euh... Ce sont les seuls regrets, je pense, que tu peux avoir peut-être sur, sur les 8 sets. C'est peut-être de revenir à un set de, de Dion pour demain. Mais bon, tu es quand même à 3 sets et tu, tu as montré que tu étais un grand combattant aujourd'hui. Oui, oui, ce n'est pas fini. Cette formule-là fait que ce n'est pas fini. Donc demain, tout peut arriver encore. Euh, je pense que chacun d'entre nous va donner le meilleur. Et puis, euh, bon, demain, ce sera un autre jour. On verra ce qui va se passer. J'espère euh, euh, continuer sur ce chemin-là et puis euh, surtout euh, bah, donner le meilleur. Et tu as vraiment très bien joué parce que ah, tu as 4 sets gagnés, mais sur les autres sets, tu euh, arrives souvent pour, pour 3. Il y a 2 deux, deux deux, deux ou 3 sets en plus où tu es pour 3. Donc, tu es vraiment dans le coup sur presque, presque tous les sets. Oui, c'est ça qui est compliqué, euh, c'est que quand on, quand on fait beaucoup de points, euh, on s'arrête à 2-3 points de la fin, on fait énormément de points, on laisse de l'énergie forcément, et puis euh, bah, peut-être que ça se paye un peu à la fin aussi. Euh, maintenant, c'est la formule qui veut ça, il faut, faut gérer tout ça, et euh, bon, c'est très intéressant, et puis comme dit, la, comme dit Dion, euh, demain ça va être très excitant. Ouais, on n'a aucun doute en tout cas, on sait que tu seras là. Et, et puis on attend ça avec impatience tous. D'accord, au plaisir. Et puis euh, merci à tous les supporters sur Cozoom. Et j'espère que tout le monde sera là demain. Merci Jérôme.